Welcome, my name is Michael Powell from the Geek Tech Blog and Acoders Project, and this is an introduction to Microsoft's new web development IDE, WebMatrix. So welcome to Microsoft's WebMatrix, the new web development IDE from Microsoft. And here we're just having a brief overview of the UI, just to give everyone a brief introduction, just so you can quickly get started using it. So here you can see you've got four choices on the quick start screen. You've got My Sites, which is any websites you've previously developed with WebMatrix, that you can quickly just select and get started with. You've got Sites from Web Gallery, which has got a vast array of choices. Again, just to help you get started, here you've got blogs such as WordPress, you've got e-commerce websites, forum websites, galleries, um, and then any tools that you want to get help with. So then again, you can just pick that as a basis and just quickly get started. Again, you've got Site from Template, uh, which we'll get back to in a second, and site from folder, which is any folder that you have on your computer that has a website in it, you just select the folder, open it up, and it will just uh, let you browse it like a website. Um, so you want to do site from template if you want to begin with. And again, you've got five options, much like uh, expression web, where um, you have a lot of different templates. Here you have um, five basic templates to get started with. Well, I'm sure more will be able to um, download. Again, you've got the gallery which you can select from, which is, has a lot more to really help you get going. So you've got empty website which will have nothing in it um, apart from a robots.txt file. You've got a starter website which will have a couple of ASP.NET uh, razor pages just to help you get started and a few other bits there. Um, and then again, some just basic websites, bakery, uh, photo gallery, and a calendar, just again to get, give you a feel for web development. So again, we're just going to start with um, an empty website, just again, so, so we can have a look. Um, and here again, the one thing that really sells WebMatrix is it's a very clean UI that it's very easy just to look around and just everything's there at, the, at your hands. So again, you have the brow up here, you have browse your files, manage your databases and run a report. Now browse your files is basically your solution explorer you can just look around your website, add, remove pages, and um, that's where you will do all your editing. You have manage databases, where again, it says there, you can create a new database or add an existing one to your website. And then from here, you can add tables and um, things like that to the databases, and that's where you'll be editing them. And then run a report, again, which will show you any broken hyperlinks, any files that aren't linked to, things like that. So you can just see, like, what's really needed in your website and what isn't, whether you added things which aren't needed. And again, down here you can see that you can quickly move around all these in the corner here. And then this just gives you a basic overview of the site. So as you can see here on the files area, um, you've got things like publishing, run the website, so you can stop the debugging and everything. You've even got a button here to launch in Visual Studio. So for the people who are used to more advanced server development you can go into Visual Studio and it will basically just open up the website you've been working on in Visual Studio allowing um, for you to use a ID you're familiar with and again here you've got add an existing item um, open items or folders and new and again here you can go new new file and again here you've got your HTMLs, your CSS, your JavaScripts, uh, ASP.NET pages but another thing they've added into this is that PHP, and now you can now do PHP development with this um, with this IDE, and that really gives a boost not just to um, PHP, but Microsoft itself showing that it's allowing you to use any open source, basically any web technology, with WebMatrix. Um, so again, you can just we can just add a simple HTML page. And you can see it all there. And it's all, you can close all of the tabs. So we've got, say, robots and HTML page up, and you can just close them all very quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's a brief overview of the UI. Uh, we'll get more into it and start doing demos of developments in the next coming weeks. Um, but to begin with, that was just a brief overview of the UI. Thank you for watching.